well, this summer we did one of our California road trips and we were really excited to try dispersed camping for the first time where you're just camping on public lands and you bring everything. So we have been getting more and more into camping over the last few years. We did a really long road trip last summer where we went to several national parks and I think we felt like we kind of wanted to take it to the next level where we could really be more alone in some really beautiful and peaceful nature. And so that was kind of what led us to wanting to try the dispersed camping. And we love Big Sur, so that seemed like an awesome place to try it out. Yeah, so uh, this video is going to take you through our journey and uh, you know, all of the events that unfolded during this very eventful trip up the coast. Hope you enjoy. Oh, I don't know why I have this on. I'm the master of the show bus. Mm, this is gonna be the best camping trip ever. Then I also made this chili. Okay, which I tasted and it's, it's bomb. Chili. And then I prepped this like crudite. Wow. It's our baby. God. We're headed off to camp and big sir. We are Um, so to recap, we planned this really romantic trip, and as you guys know from my secret video diaries I've been making, I've been planning to propose during this trip, and uh, Rachel's really looking forward to the ocean views, and so was I, and unfortunately we got up here and it turns out the forest roads were closed. She's looking at me now, wondering what's going on. The forest roads were closed about a day before we got up here that led to the ocean sites. So we couldn't do our first choice. Our second choice, which was known to be a little buggy, but also had good ocean views, also closed, <laughs> which we found out when we drove to that. And so we found this spot. Um, we're about to leave it, long story short. It's cute, it's private, but it's... We're like in a bee den. You may be able to hear that. And it's probably just a part of um, dispersed camping, but we're, we don't have totally flat ground. The people before us left a bunch of trash and a fire pit that we can't use even that's in the middle of the flat ground. So flat-ish ground. So I think uh, we're on to plan B. <laughs> So we got out of the bee den and, uh, you know, it wasn't all bad, let's say, right? Yeah, we had a really beautiful drive down out of Big Sur over the clouds. We saw a lot of beautiful wildlife as yeah. we drove back towards cell reception. Yes, it was great, you know, uh, loved it. And I would say we kept up a pretty positive attitude. Luckily, after some research, we were able to find another campsite, a primitive campsite, um, not far from where we had service and uh, got to use that four wheel drive. Um, that just, Sable had been excited about. Yeah, I was really excited about the four wheel drive. So luckily we found something kind of off road as well. and. Uh, you can check all that out right now. Luckily, we didn't give up on the dispersed, uh, didn't give up on the dispersed camping. And we looked up some places that were not far from 
where we were able to get cell service, uh, which is Cambria, California. And we found this awesome campsite. Check out that view. So this is ours. Mm. I can look if you want. Hey, sweetie. It's our first morning at this wonderful campsite. It's our first morning. I'm about to make us some brunch. So I have some fruit salad that I prepared ahead of time. One with berries and one with some other um, summer fruits. Can you get the lighter, baby? <laughs> so this is the final product. It turned out really yummy. Baby, do you like it? It's amazing. <laughs> okay, now we get to my favorite part. Hey. hey sweetie what are we celebrating oh my gosh it happened <laughs> uh, thank goodness do you want a better hair care routine sweetie okay darling what i said okay darling <laughs> you're up for it mm -hmm. Here we are, ready to head out of our first primitive camping trip. Got all of our trash with us, waste, <laughs> uh, and uh, that's it, just us. This is our lovely campsite. Wow, this was gorgeous. We had no idea where we were going. Well, we thought we knew where we were going when we headed out, and we ended up here. So once we got done camping, we got to spend some time a little south of Big Sur where we stayed for a few days, um, just enjoying the coast. Yeah, and this is an area that we have been going back to for a few years now. It's just really beautiful, really peaceful, not too crowded, and we love to hike along the coast and see the marine wildlife and all that. <laughs> Okay, we are now outside of Cayucos, California. Um, found this really cool hike and we're just enjoying some lunch you picked up from the deli and this awesome view. We're like totally alone. Just looking out of the ocean. We've seen seals, like sea otters we think, some cool birds, California sea lion. After our engagement um, and our little stay on the coast, Sable's dad surprised us with a little engagement gift, um, which was a few nights stay at this really beautiful property in Santa Barbara. Yeah, shout out Pops. <laughs> Super relaxing. Yeah, and we kind of just got to do a uh, surprise luxury thing for a couple days and get some room service uh look at some awesome views and so thanks for checking out our summer and our engagement trip and uh stick around check out some more videos